Hi G Squad, it's your girl Gisland and today's video is about me witnessing someone being burnt to death. So um this happened when I was in fifth grade and um was during a riot that was going on in Cameroon because uh there were some rebels that wanted the president of Cameroon, which is Paul Bia, to leave the power because he has been there for a very long time since like before my parents were even born and he's still there to today so they were fighting for him to leave the power because it was around election time and he was about to win he was really leading everybody that were you know being that were trying to be president he was leading like he had the most votes and everything we don't know because you guys know Cameroon is corrupted most of African countries are corrupted so we think you know first of all it's corruption that made him lead all these other people that tried to become president so um there were there was a big riot going on and on the news they said there was a big riot going on in another city we didn't know it was going to hit our city like the next day like in the news the night before we they said there was a riot in another city we didn't know it was going to hit our city which is the city where the president live at which is Yaoundé we didn't know it was going to hit that city the next day so I went to school the next day normally like nothing was going on I went there in the morning and then literally like a couple hours later we looked through the window we seen like a lot of people marching on the road like with weapons and everything like it was scary Motors, like m people on the motorcycle riding like making big noises with cars and motorcycles like it was just a lot of noises like outside and we heard like parents banging the door like we need our kids back we need our kids back so i was just like what is going on like i was in fifth grade i was scared i was like what is going on so my mom my mom was also one of those parents banging the, the door of course she was because she had to get me her baby so my mom was one of the parents banging the door like because like um when that big riot they can come and just break into a school and start like beating everybody up and doing all these crazy killing certain people so while the parents were banging our principal was really rude he refused to release us early he said we, they have to wait to the end of school how are we gonna be studying when there's a big civil war going on outside like this that was a civil war like actually yeah a big civil war going on outside like how are we gonna be studying like hearing all these gunshots and everything like because it was police against people from the city like reg regular people and we were like you know we were really confused in the in, in the school all of us was confused even the teachers were confused because everybody wanted to go home nothing was like that place wasn't safe for us to be there and then the like couple 30 minutes later after this whole thing started 30 minutes later we were peeking through the window because our my class's room window was facing the street so i was peeking in the window and then i saw people burning tires like they were burning tires so i'm in my head i'm like okay they were burning tires and blocking the road so i was like okay they're just blocking the road so no one passes by and someone was on their motorcycle they grabbed the person off the motorcycle and then like beat them started beating him up like it was a guy they started beating him up burned his motorcycle and then like he was able to run you know he was able to leave he that one wasn't that bad okay he was able to leave but like you could tell he was really beaten like they really beat him up and the only reason why he was able he was able to escape was because they caught they were catching a lot of motorcycles people and people on motorcycles so they, they caught so many other motorcycles so when he ran he could have got, got in the way because they were focusing on the new people they had just caught to beat. So one of the guys who they were trying to beat, like, was actually trying to fight back, you know? I mean, like, he's a man. Like, I bet he was thinking, like, I'm a man. Like, I'm going to fight them back. So he was trying to fight back. And then they put him in tires, like, you guys know, like, car tires. So they put him on the floor and started piling, like, car tires on him and, like, light it up. Boom. He was burning in those tires literally burning they, they piled up like three or four tires like upward and he was burning in those tires like I started crying that's when I knew this was serious like the beating I was like mm, that's I mean they were just be beating okay as, as long as I'm not dying but then when I saw that that's when I started crying like I was bawling all my classmates were bawling, we were all crying 
and then the parents were outside that was so scary because our parents are out there what if they come in trying to you know hurt our parents and then the principal finally opened the door and let all the parents in when i tell you the way my mom grabbed me and i told her what i saw she was scared like she was also scared because it's like what mom wonder a fifth grade kid to see such a thing like that was that thing traumatized me to today like <sighs> anyways so my mom like started hugging me telling me it was okay and then we waited until everything was a bit calm and like an hour later or two everything calmed down because they were moving from like neighborhood to neighborhood like they had already leave like the neighborhood they were which is around my school my old school at, at the time so when they moved to the other neighborhood my mom just grabbed us and i didn't leave that far from the um from the school so we just like when i tell you we walked speed walking my mom to 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 the house we probably live like 15 minutes walk away so we just pe was speed walking to the house and then i got to the house my mom locked me in the house because she had to go get my siblings to the school or whatever so yeah guys that's the story of when i witnessed a man being killed literally burned to death and yeah it was really terrible like that's still stuck in my head like that's a story i wanted to keep for when I get bigger and bigger on YouTube but then I was just like, let me just tell you guys about this because this happens in a lot of African countries it happened in Nigeria it happened in Cameroon of course where I'm from it happened in different countries like a lot of countries have these type of riots going on and people are dying people are hurt and all those stuff that's why I'm really grateful to be in America and I only go to Africa when it comes down to visiting because the stuff that happened down there is my country yesterday's um but the stuff that happened down there are really really scary so yeah thank you guys for watching that's a story that really kind of like after this video i know we sit down on my bed and really think about it again because every time i talk about it everything is cool until later on i'm like really that man really died like that he didn't deserve that like you know what i mean like i sit down and think like dang like he really died like that he didn't deserve that. That could have been anybody. That could have been my uncle. That could have been my brother. That could have been my dad being burned like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, I try not to think about it so much. But, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe down below if you haven't. Because, duh, you made it this far enough for, for you to just walk away. Like, come on now. Subscribe to my channel and be part of the J-Squad. And also, if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And also, give us a thumbs up and comment down below if you have if you have ever been like a part of a riot or it's always civil war, or if you have already witnessed somebody being like killed unfairly, you know, for no reason basically. Like if you have ever witnessed that, comment it down below. And also, guys, don't forget to hit me up on my instagram twitter and snapchat with any story i mean any story you are dealing with and you would like me to discuss on a video or you would just like to talk to me about so we can solve one-on-one -on -one. don't forget to you know go ahead and contact me on those social media platforms and also follow me on all my social media platforms like i said they are twitter instagram and snapchat because i love interacting with you guys and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye